Here's another quick QuickBooks tip, the transaction journal. Every transaction in QuickBooks has an underlying journal or journal entry that determines how that transaction affects your accounting or your general ledger. Let me explain what I mean. I'm gonna click on the recent transactions button here and then just click on any recent expense transaction that I have. Once I'm looking at the transaction, is right there in front of me. I can see who the payee is, the date, the cash account, the category, but I can't really tell what is the journal entry behind this transaction. The way to do that is we're gonna click on the more button on the bottom of the screen, and then we're gonna click on where it says transaction journal. Every transaction should have a transaction journal option under it so you can pull the guts of the transaction, the debits and the credits, the accounting of the transaction per se. So once you're looking at the journal, you're gonna see multiple columns here like date, transaction type, number, name, memo, account, debit, and credit. You can actually choose how you wanna see that journal if you don't wanna see some of those columns. So for example, I can click on the little gear button here on the right hand side, click on show more, and then uncheck all the things that I don't want to see for this specific analysis. So let's say I don't wanna see the adjustment column, I don't wanna see the number column, and let's say those are the two that I wanna see, and then I just click out of that, and now my report's a little bit smaller. I can also change the ordering of the journal itself by clicking on that gear menu, scrolling down, and clicking on where it says reorder columns. Once I click on that, I get this pop-up on the right-hand side, and I get to choose how I want to see this specific journal. So let's say I wanna start with the transaction date as the first column, then I wanna move into account as the second column, then put debit and credit right next to it. And then they say the customer's name or the vendor's name, rather, depending on the transaction. And then we'll leave transaction type and memo description. And then we click on run report. So you can run a journal entry, which is what's going on behind the scenes, the guts of the transaction, simply by opening a transaction journal. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing. I'm gonna click on the reports menu on the left-hand side and then click on reports. And then on the find the report by name, I'm gonna type journal, and then I'm gonna pull up my journal report. So imagine the same specific report, but looking at more than one transaction. So let's say I wanted to see all of my invoices for the month of August. So simply, I run my journal report, change the date range to be August 1st, 2020 through August 31st, 2020, and then I click on where it says customize on the top. I click on filter, I click on transaction type, and then I select invoices. Just select that, click on run report, and then all of a sudden I have a transaction journal that includes all the invoices for that month, including the debit and the credits, and how all these transactions are affecting your accounting. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you're alerted when I create a new video like this. Thanks.